a lot of businesses don't update or upgrade themselves and hence they'll be out of the business very fast okay and that's what is going to be the topic for today hi this is karthik nadu here welcome to my channel it's great to have you and today's topic is going to make a lot of difference for every business who's watching this particular video it's going to make a lot of impact the topic is nothing but how to restructure your business to be profitable we're going to be touching upon the pointers of what are the different things that you need to restructure to actually build update yourself upgrade yourself and keep your business moving forward hi this is karthik nadu here i've helped thousands of business owners to go forward to build their business they build their systems automations scale their business and get massive results so if you're here for the first time i want to personally welcome you to my channel here so just go and hit the subscribe button and the like button if you've not done it yet okay without taking further time let's get started with today's topic it's about how to restructure your business to be profitable now when i say restructuring doesn't mean changing the business okay so every business needs evolution every business needs to keep reinventing themselves and that's why a lot of companies big companies who are ruling those industries like kodak bpl or any of the companies were like the industry leaders but they were not able to hold their spot there okay so i'm i'm not saying the companies are bad but the point is they were not able to hold the top spot there who came to the top spot are the companies who actually reinvented themselves and remodeled and gave the market what is required so re-evolving like evolving yourself in the entrepreneur space is like the number one success formula that i want to share with you today okay so the topic of restructuring your business to be profitable so you might be making a lot of profit right now but the point is it's not going to stay forever okay that might be that might sound a little harsh but the fact is yes so today what is selling could not be relevant 3 years from now today what is the hottest thing in the market is is going to be irrelevant in the next 5 years so what do you do as a company you need to think on the terms of how can you really reinvent a lot of things within yourself i'll tell you some of the companies like even lnt which is known for like cement and all of that right now they're into the real estate okay featherlight is a chair company and can you believe they're making a project in bangalore in real estate they they've kept it as featherlight developers so there's no boundaries to actually expand through the business okay so first thing i want you to do is break the resistance of telling that okay i am in this industry i make this product and people know me for this product doesn't matter amazon started selling books but right now they can sell anything and everything it's just like that so don't restrict yourself that's the number one point so let's get into the point number one which i want to share with you is about product restructuring so never stop yourself by telling that uh, i do i should not be doing this because i am known for this or maybe people know my product for this no don't don't put yourself a restriction but the point here is about how can you build an ecosystem for yourself now let's say uh, you sell mobile phones in a retail shop having a uh, mobile covers is a gradual and natural process you can jump into it without even like thinking too much about the business because people who buy mobile phone will require a mobile case that's it it's that simple and then you go ahead and you sell some more accessories and all of that is like a progressive uh, thing that you can do that's what that's how you build the ecosystems even in my case when i'm actually starting off uh, when i'm helping business owners to scale their business that's when i realized that we need a in house system and that's where we bought my pipeline which is the crm and sales system where our members in our community and many many uh, many of them from outside use that and get into the community also So you see that it's a natural progression it's not like getting something that's irrelevant it is it's a necessity so you need to identify in your business what are those things of product restructuring that means you restructure the product what is selling constantly and once you do that you need to find out the things that is around it the people will gradually and naturally go and buy it so somebody buys a mobile phone you don't even have to tell them to buy a screen guard or a mobile case it's a natural thing to do why would they go out somewhere else to do it they'll be like oh i think it's available with you please get it done so you need to naturally progress uh, you, you need to naturally position some of the product that you have so that is called product restructuring you need to structure not only one product but you need to also structure along with it what is required like the basic necessities that's what is the first point that i want to share with you the second one is the business model coming to business model here what happens uh, whatever model you are using right now for instance you are like selling offline you're making business you're getting the revenues that's fantastic but what 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 if you can touch the online space what if you can build a e-commerce platform for your products 
What if you can build a franchise system for your products? What if you can advertise and do a direct to customer selling? Which is like anything is possible. So if you see right now, the company's D2C has become one of the biggest models because everybody knows that the retail sales are like massive profits. Nobody are going through and sticking on to the uh, system of like, I'm going to go through distributors. I'm going to throw, go through agents. No, it's not like that. You see, people are ready to actually go to the customer directory. So being a product and a being a product or a service, your company, what you could do is you need to design the business model. What is required? I would, I would suggest you that you just go and opt out multiple ways for it. You go, multi, uh, you go opt out for an online way. You go opt out for an offline way. You go and opt out for e-commerce. You go out there and do webinars. You see, your sales system can be anything, members. Let me tell you this, okay? When you make a sales system, you should not restrict yourself. I'm going to do only one-to-one -one meeting and sell this. I'm going to have a showroom. People will come and buy it. No, you can use multiple different ways. Right now, what I want you to do is write down few pointers on what are the different ways that you can build a business model to sell the same product. I'll give an example of what I'm doing personally. Uh, for me, I'm helping business owners to build their business and scale their business. During this, as I mentioned, I have another company which is called Franchise Universe and some of the uh, businesses who are like already making profit, they want to scale up. I'm naturally bought that positioning as franchising. I tell them I, I have courses where I tell them like learn about franchising, go and scale your business. It's that simple because at that thing, it's a natural progression. Once you start making profit, you need to position few things in a business model in such a way that somebody comes into your into your own world it's your own ecosystem and they when they start buying one product from you or one service from you the rest of the thing should be naturally positioned and that's what is the business model so the second point is don't ever restrict yourself saying that okay this is my business model and this is what i'm going to follow don't don't restrict yourself think about creative ways on how you can reach your product or service to multiple people or your own uh, customers who are already buying from you that's the second point and the third and most important point is the market positioning this is one topic I don't understand. Okay. Many business owners, manufacturer, dealers, retailers tell that, oh, my marketing position, uh, market position will be uh, disrupted. Okay. So my market positioning is like people know me that I sell this product. I sell this service. So I can't change it. As I give you an example, Featherlight is a chair manufacturer and they're into developers. l &T are building apartments. Okay. You see any of these companies right now, the name of the brand can get into multiple businesses. Don't ever restrict yourself on the market positioning. That's not true. People don't mind you selling quality products because you already people know about you and your product and services. They believe you when you actually venture out into a new thing because they know that, okay, this is like a credible company. So I can believe them rather than some new company. You get that? So there is nothing called as market positioning. You might be known for one thing, but you need to venture out yourself into multiple things. Just It's just like your nervous system. So you start from one, but then you just divert into different, different segments. You build different business models, different products, different services. And this way you can restructure in such a way to make a very big impact. So there's nothing like called as like market positioning. Even if you're known for something very popularly right now, that does not mean it will stop you from doing something else. Okay, so go ahead. Don't restrict yourself uh, with market positioning. And that's what is the most important part. So finally, before we wind up the topic of how to restructure your business to be more profitable, these are the few pointers that I want you to get through. Sit back, watch this video again if you want to and make some pointers and design your business right now itself. Okay, I don't want you to just watch this video and just go away. Watch this again, pause this, Make few pointers, how you can restructure your product, your service, your branding, your market positioning, all of that. And once you get an idea, start implementing this. Because I'll tell you, knowing something and not doing is equal to not knowing at all. So you better, uh, after you knowing, go and implement that. Because let me tell you, members, the only way that entrepreneurs get success is about implementation. I want you to be that action taker. Okay, so having said that, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed and liked the video yet, so go hit the subscribe button and like the button. If you're watching elsewhere, then 
then just make sure that you search for Karthik Naidu and stay connected with me for some more valuable content. Okay. And uh, before I wind up, I just want to offer you a free gift right now. I've given a 60 minute training link below. So go click on that link right now. Get inside. It's, a, it's an awesome training to understand about how systems automation and how you can grow and scale your business. So this is going to be extremely important. If you are a business owner, even if you're not a business owner, go learn about this because the entire mission of what I'm on is to help 1 million business owners to build and scale their business. Thank you so much for watching this particular video. This is Karthik Nadu here signing off. Stay tuned to this channel and for some more valuable content. Hoping to see you very, very soon in the next video. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button, bell icon to get notified whenever I launch the new video. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.